Welcome back to another episode of Modern Motors. Today, uh, we are gonna see if this car starts after 17 years. The last time this car was running was in 06. So it's been 17 years since this car ran. Um, <laughs> we got it registered. Forgot. <laughs> with plates, um, meaning if you're a cop watching this, we got the car started, we drove it to the inspection, yeah. got it started, and now we brought it back and it's not working again. Uh, it is 106 degrees out here, so it is extremely hot. Uh, first thing is first, we've got a whole bunch of replacement parts. We got uh, distributor, distributor cap, battery, uh, air filter, spark plugs, spark plugs spark pretty much everything to see if it's running um, and see if this motor turns over. If it turns over, phenomenal news. If it doesn't turn over, not phenomenal news, so. There you go, turn the motor down. So right now we think the motor is seized, which is not a good story. Uh, put the battery in and we tried to crank it. It's not cranking. We tried to move the motor, it's not. So now we are going to try to see if we can get it unseized or uh, what we can do to try to make it work a little bit. We pulled the spark plug out already and we found it's pretty, pretty nasty. It's got a bunch of oil on it. It looks like sludge, honestly, so it may have water in it. The good thing it doesn't look rusted. It looks like surface rust. It's not pitted or anything, so I don't. Well, I hope the, the cylinders aren't rusted over. The green on the tip. So we're gonna take the belt off just to make sure that the crank pulley is free and not seized up by any accessories. If you guys don't know who Jose is back here, he's been on a lot of our videos. He's usually here when we mess up and get ourselves into deep water to fix all of our problems. Right, Jose? Help. But essentially what's happening, what happened to those clips is the car is actually seized. The motor seized. There is no way for us to unseize it. So now we're in this position of, I thought it was going to be do some regular maintenance, get the car up and running. We're going to drive it and we have a good time. We're already looking for carbon fiber parts because we're uh, like, yeah. but it's gonna be driving. for sure it's going to be running. So apparently because it has no hood, I don't know when, what happened, but at some point some water got into the engine, um, rusted everything up, seized everything a little bit. The oil was mucky and gross. So this car is pretty much deemed, the motor is at least deemed useless. So the good thing about the car is if you look at it, the body's straight. It's never been in an accident, as you guys can clearly see. The rear of it's straight, tail lights are straight, everything's good. Here's the thing. To me specifically, it has to be a 1993, so we're sticking with a 1993. But the logic is, because could we have bought a different one that was running and driving? I'll go give you guys a price breakdown, just so we're all on the same page. The car was $500, that's money gone. This was $150, money gone. But this didn't come with the seals like the person said it did, so we're gonna have to find those later. Um, in the background, because I thought it was gonna be running, I bought S2000 seeds already. I know, a little, <laughs> oh, a little presumptuous of me. <laughs> so these were at a $300, <clears throat> more money gone. I don't know how to put sound, it's much easier if I just make the sound versus me editing it in, so you know. Uh, taxes and everything, I said I only bought the car for $100, which is whatever. Um, that's 115, 115 bucks for registration, all that. I had to buy a new battery. That was 180 something dollars. I'll put it right on the screen exactly what it was. Plus another $230 for maintenance. Stuff that I didn't get to use. We are out. Whatever it says on the screen, which I'm assuming is close to a thousand plus dollars. Could so I have far. found a better car for a thousand plus dollars? Now here's where the problem becomes is obviously motor's gone. Hood is still missing. Paint is trash. There's a lot of little tiny pieces missing from the car. Still missing a tail light. So many foot fenders. Hood. Uh, it's it's a mess. Uh, so we're gonna need pretty much everything for this car. The good part is, is I was planning on replacing all that stuff, anyways. And as you guys said, in my saw my last title, I did say that I wanted to swap the motor with a K series or B series. Unfortunately for me, that's just gonna happen a lot sooner <laughs> than I thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> for real people that I've talked to getting a K series in here is going to be anywhere from like seven to ten thousand dollars depending on how I do it B series maybe a little bit cheaper but upgrading it down the line maybe a little bit more costly or I can do another D series motor for now which would be a D15 B from Japan again I said this wrong this is not a D16 motor as I can, you can clearly tell this is a D15 motor but I can do a D16 motor or I can do a D15 P D15 B from Japan which is a little bit of a better motor you can push four to five hundred horsepower out of it pretty reliably so 
those are the three different options or really four b series k series or two different versions of the d series we could buy another del sol that's probably like a 93 for two to three thousand dollars call this one a scrap and replace it and do something completely different this morning i made up my mind and i said you know what what is modded motors if we don't mod our motors right so um we're gonna completely just go balls to the wall on this one yep. and keep it now what that means is this is not going to happen overnight this is going to take some time if we're going to do this the right way which we should do it the right way we got to sm smog out the interior for the bugs because it's disgusting put our new registration sticker on get all the panels that we're looking for all the little interior pieces so you're going to see like a lot of exterior videos i was getting a whole bunch of parts and then i will buy the motor the motor is actually not that expensive even if i go a kb series i'm spending about a thousand bucks it's getting it and running driving where it gets a little bit more expensive yeah. the good thing is is i can eventually take this motor out clean up all this engine bay and give us a nice shaved engine bay look uh, when we take it to paint so eventually we're gonna have to find a color get everything painted get all the missing trim pieces eventually this is gonna look like a completely different car which is the vision but i'm gonna need anywhere from again I would say to make this car look drive great phenomenal suspension all the ricky parts that i want i'm spending about thirty thousand dollars into this car roughly 30k so. if you haven't gone to the modern wear website go ahead and shop at modern wear <laughs> what a shameless plug if you aren't subscribed to the channel you should definitely go subscribe um unfortunately yeah this is just really shitty if i can find another d-series motor that's exactly like this motor that we have in here i'll pick it up and drop it in just so we can get this car running and driving and start doing like regular maintenance and stuff in it but i already knew i was going to kind of going to go balls to the wall in the car so i'm not like too depressed about it it's yeah. just really unfortunate that it is other person lied to us or whatever i'm not gonna blame him but <laughs> i feel like he kind of knew <clears throat> yeah. but like even the top like this top's not gonna stay even though it's on here i'm gonna go eventually go with the mary pull top which is like a see-through top i already knew i was gonna replace all the fenders hood front bumper i mean we knew we, we knew we were getting into but like we, we wish just, we knew the full truth we wish we knew sense. a little bit more of what we're getting into yeah but we knew little details matter we we're just hoping we could be driving. It's not like we're gonna drive it. It's, we're not gonna drive it anywhere. It's we're not just like we're complaining for no reason. We weren't gonna drive it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even drive the FRS. The FRS is uh, that Julia doesn't get driven. We weren't gonna drive it anywhere. I just wanted to be able to say I drove it after 17 years, but it's okay. Yeah. It's a 30 year old car. You got 30 year old car problems. That's true. That's what happens. And hopefully this pans out. You guys use this clip later and it goes to a future video when this is done. Hopefully this pans out and this becomes a very cool project for the Modern Motors channel. Yeah. And it's this crazy horsepower, beautiful looking car. And then the Julia and this car are gonna race. <laughs> I'll fucking smash on it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Power goals for this, anywhere from like 350 to 500, I'd be happy with. Jeez, I couldn't even imagine going 500. So, to be fair, yeah. we still need to clean it. We still need to take the tint off. We still need to bomb the car because there's a ton of spiders in there. Yeah. So we might show you that if you guys want, but. Yeah. We're still gonna be working on it in the background, but we're gonna go back to Alpha. There's a lot of body work that needs to be done. I do want to practice wrapping, so I'll probably start wrapping the top, but I don't know. We'll see. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed our depressing video and. <laughs> um, Pray for us. Uh, I really want to say shout out to the Del Sol owners uh, that came in clutch or the Honda owners just in general that came in clutch oh, and yeah. subscribed. You guys were really sweet. Some of you guys even reached out to us. Way better than the Alpha fan base. Uh, <laughs> Don't say <laughs> I'm that. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but you guys really did come in clutch. I think we got 40 new subscribers like overnight. Yeah, um, which is really crazy. Yeah, really cool of you guys. Um, really supportive community. Um, we didn't really expect that, to be honest. Yeah, like I said, I've tried the IS. I've tried the Supra. I've tried a Datsun. I've tried multiple FRS BRZ chassis. And Datsun. Sons. No, nothing really clicked on the channel, uh, but the you Honda community but comes. This piece of shit. And I'm just <laughs> you guys want the $500 car? I'll build the $500 car. <laughs> Delso community rocks. Apparently. Got it. That's where it's at. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where we're gonna end today's video. Thank you for watching another one of our videos, and we'll see you guys uh, next one. Next one. Yeah. everything's good on it if you guys want to rob me keys are in the car too so <laughs> insurance claim maybe like getting it out of the driveway <laughs> insurance claim may be better in this scenario <laughs> <laughs>